Hi guys, this is Luthias, and yes, um, I'm busy with a Valheim review after me and my son has finished the game. And yeah, I'm just doing some... Um, Really, where is the wood? I just put the wood somewhere, guys. Sorry. Yeah, me and my son just finished the game, and I definitely saw a major, a major weakness. And I've got my fishing pole on my bait, so I just caught some fish to make some fish wraps. And yes. We finished the game, of course, I just used the wolf armor, and then I grinded my butt off for the better weapons. But one thing that I've realized, and there isn't any real um, guide for it. None of the guides are very clear regarding the skills okay but i definitely saw a weakness even in the weapons that i grinded for and um, there was a big weakness and uh, in my guide series you know i gave you guys the top 10 tips and i told you how to survive and the surviving is a very very important part i've seen i've seen speedrunners you know um Finishing the game by dying a lot and using the the corpse run, guys. If you want to enjoy this game, um, a corpse run is definitely not something that you want to, you know, that you that you want to try or that you want to use. Because me and my son finished the game and we died a lot, a lot. Like not the first or second boss in the swamps, we died a lot. Um, at Modor in the snow, we died a heck of a lot uh, because we forgot to make the frost-resistant potions. And in the plains, we died a heck of a lot. Okay, now I, ju I just want to show you the result of dying a lot. Okay, this is what my skills look like after I have finished the game. This is what my skills look like. Got 28 running, 28 clubs. That's probably just because I beat the boss to death with the club. Everything else is poor. Getting to level 10 with any weapon or any item is very, very quick because you don't need to do a lot up to level 10. And then after level 10, it takes like double or triple the amount of actions to get the same results. And then it stays more or less the same. So these skills are absolutely pathetic. And the reason that these skills are pathetic, I just want to make myself some fish wraps quickly. enough for now the reason why that is so pathetic guys is after i looked at my weapon damage i i grinded my butt off making these weapons now look there 35 58 and 20 okay that's worth blunt okay so the clubs aren't too bad but let's let's take my sword let's take my sword quickly Look at my sword, 95, but the maximum amount of damage I can do is 63, and I'm going to do 34 damage a lot of the time, okay? And then when it comes to a weapon that does various damage, PS, you know, I can do 27 in, um, out of 63. On the blunt, I can do 21. Look at the bow. The bow can do 47 um, PS damage. But I can only do a maximum of 32, okay? And that definitely showed with the last boss. Because every shot you take counts, okay? Now, on an experimental server, I have done the tests. And to put it plainly, with all weapons, 
you need to get at least a skill of 50 to double your minimum damage okay so when you've got no skills your minimum damage is going to be very low okay and because i finished the game i can just show you guys here because we can look at all the skills and i've done i've done the test after i finished the game on a test server and if you guys are interested i am doing a random you know a random seed one life challenge solo okay um pure no cheese mechanics no nothing so if you're interested in that you can just look at the playlist but in any case i'm gonna quickly just show you guys here so it's dev commands is the new thing and then reset skill um, clubs okay let's just see if this if this worked okay so clubs is at zero now one thing i want you to focus on is now out of 35 damage i'm only doing 19 maximum okay but my frost is very low as well so look at this i just want you to look at the minimum numbers 9 14 and 5 now if we raise skill clubs to 50 okay just 50 not 100 just to 50 okay look at that now 19 32 and 11 okay i'll just look back on that but with my calculations and with my tests your minimum damage gets doubled as well it gets at least doubled so at 50 skill points your minimum damage is double what it was at zero okay so you'll do double if you if the random shots that you give the guy um is on the low side at least you're going to be doing double what you normally do and you'll see now my blunt damage is already at 30, at 30 okay you don't need to get 100 skill points to get the maximum amount of damage out of a weapon okay because if we go to again if we just raise it by another 25 now most weapons are 70 but the bow is 75 okay so i'm just going to raise it by 20 which puts my clubs at 70 okay now you will see that okay so yeah you know, some weapons you have to go to 75 you'll see we're not at the max yet we're close to the max damage and you'll see that the minimum and the maximum is getting closer as well okay but now when we go, now I'm just going to add five points to it because I have done these tests. So now my club skill is at 75. Okay. Now you will see we activated the maximum amount of damage on all the damage stats. Okay. You can see there 35 blunt. I can do 35 in the yellow numbers. 58, 58, 20, 20. Okay. So now the possibility of getting the maximum amount of damage out of our weapon is already activated. Okay, which is a major, major difference. And if you don't die, you can reach these numbers and then killing a boss, you'll be able to kill him in a third of the amount of shots that you would have needed if you had no skill points. Okay, and remember all these numbers add up. So if I didn't exercise my clubs or I died a lot, then I'm getting like 30% on the blunt, 30% on the frost, and you know, 30% on the spirit. But then if my skill at with my blunt weapon is at 75, just my blunt weapon, guys, then I'm getting 100% on the blunt, 100% on the frost, and 100% on the spirit. So it's like 300% more damage that you're getting all, all the way around, okay? And the only difference that it makes when you get, when you get to 100 skill points of any weapon okay now clubs are there it, do, it doesn't really give you bonus damage all it does is it brings the numbers closer so now you are going to be doing the maximum amount of damage most of the time okay so it just raises those minimum numbers so just remember at 50 skill points you only have to hit 50 skill points to double the minimum amount of damage that your weapon does 
and you only need to reach a level of 75 to hit the maximum amount of damage out of all the effects of a certain weapon okay and then from 75 upwards it's you know it's unnecessary the other thing with weapons is a lot of people tell you to hit rocks or trees i have tested this okay if you hit if you hit a rock with certain weapons you level up normally but when you hit a tree or or any any undead object with the bow it's going to take you like four or five times longer to level up the bow okay so don't do the boring thing okay out of all my tests kill mobs and hit them okay the amount of damage that you do to them affects um how fast your skills go up and the reason i said the first 10 skills are so fast is if i just go let's just go um reset re reset skill bows i just want to show you guys quickly how how fast okay you can level up a bow now i told you guys to not hit trees or anything you're gonna to have to trust me with that but look now with the first shot i'm at level one okay and because of my test you'll see now with the second shot I just have to hit something twice i'm at level two okay it's the it's the it's dependent on the amount of damage i do not gonna get any skill points there okay so now it's probably gonna take me two skill points to level up there just two hits two hits okay it's definitely dependent on the amount of damage that you do and like i said say getting to getting to level 10 is nothing and the bow guys the bow the the more you level up the bow the the shorter it will be to get to get to a perfect aim um so yes that's my big tip okay hit the mobs you you can be you'll be able to get to level 10 very very fast okay just to give you an example of the test that i've done from level 1 to level 10 takes roughly the same amount of shots like on most of the things um 10 you know at 11 hits to reach level 10 but then on level 9 it takes 19 hits on level 9 okay and then it goes up by three so one each for level one two each for level two three each for level three and so it goes on until i went to level 11 then i needed to hit something 19 times to get um to level 11 okay to get to skill 11 and then it goes up by three incrementally forever okay so you can still get there very fast but i want you guys to focus on you're gonna struggle your butts off if you you know if, you, if you're not prepared if you don't have frost resistance when you go to the mountains if you don't have poison resistance when you go to the swamps and if you ignore the stamina potions and the healing potions to keep you in the action and if you ignore the rested buff okay and good food cooking good food which takes time but which is the difference between life and death okay and that definitely affects your skill points and at, at at a high at a high sneak guys this is what the thumbnail will you'll see the thumbnail on a hundred sneak you can stand right up against any enemy the only way they will detect you is if you directly in their line of sight in the thumbnail i'm standing next to the deer on purpose you know that his face his face is almost level with me because he doesn't detect me okay you can walk up to any animal any enemy when your skill level is at 75 or above and then those knives those powerful knives do a heck of a lot of damage you know because it's times 10 but upgrading your weapons means a lot getting all your skills up means a lot as well and especially with the final boss getting your club skill up you know is quite important because 
the the porcupine you know frostner is about the best weapon in the game and getting your bow skills up is very important as well so that you can aim at your enemies much faster so that you don't use stamina because as you're aiming your bow it takes stamina look my stamina i'm using stamina there okay so to get my bow at a hundred percent use a stamina unless i go raise skill bows 100 okay now look how much stamina i'm gonna use okay so if i'm now in the swamps I can be like a rocket launcher, okay? I can be like a rocket launcher. So let's go reset skill bows. And then we go raise skill bows to 75, okay? Just 75, guys. Just 75, nothing major. Just 75. Look at that. That's already a major improvement. Okay, I can still hit a lot and it feels a little bit better, you know, instead of just having that circle there immediately. But that's what I'm doing here. Is a lot, is a lot, is a lot better than... is a lot better than this okay so i hope that explained the skills to you much much better okay and like i say if you want to hit a rock you know or a tree or anything like that is your choice but with the test that i've done hitting enemies you know definitely definitely is better i've tested the swimming and the running okay and basically at 100 swimming or 100 running you're going to just be traveling double the distance okay because i timed it with a stopwatch so you're going to be able to run or swim twice as long okay um so that's not that's not the end of the ball okay you're gonna run a, a lot and everything the other thing is if you use an axe to hit a tree it's not going to make your axe better. It's going to make wood cutting better. Okay, if you hit, and of course, okay, you're not going to use a pickaxe for combat unless you want to hit a golem. But just remember, your axe doesn't get better by hitting trees. Okay, your axes get better by hitting enemies. Okay, so don't think my axe is the best option because I'm hitting trees all the time. No, it's two different skills. Your axes only gets leveled up when you hit enemies okay so you've got the run which you will always be running okay and as long as you don't die your running will be top notch at the end of the game unarmed you don't need to focus on clubs is a big focus blocking is a big focus okay the amount of stamina it takes you to block that's where the difference comes in okay because you're not going to get your shield um let's just go to the shield here the shield is already blocking for max okay so you're not going to change that and you can never change the durability of your weapons the only way to change the durability of your weapons is to upgrade them okay the normal upgrading so the only thing with the shield is that it's going to use less stamina and you will know when you're fighting multiple enemies how quickly they can drain your stamina you know with how hard they hit or how many they are especially if you're using that long shield you know the big shield they're going to drain your stam st stamina, okay? They're going to drain your stamina a, a lot faster than the small shield, but, you know, they'll still be able to drain your stamina with the big shield. So that's all that the blocking is going to do, okay? The blocking is just going to um, let you last longer when things are hitting the crap out of you. Jumping, you're going to be able to jump twice as high, twice as far, okay? 
and axes is a weapon it's the same wood cutting you're going to be doing more damage to trees okay the maximum amount of damage to trees and uh, you'll see when you hit a tree you're doing critical hits to a tree okay so your wood cutting is just gonna get hectically fast the the more you cut trees and the less you die sneaking you, you know at 100 you'll be able to sneak up to any enemy and backstab him okay which is very very powerful when it comes to enemies that you don't want to mess with swimming double and um, bows hit the enemies you get to the target faster every elemental damage and every damage number you know is maxed out instead of just getting 30 percent of what the weapon can actually do which equates to taking like 10 times longer to kill a boss okay which equates to him being able to do 10 times more damage to you, which equates to you dying a heck of a lot more. Knives, definitely. Getting the most amount of damage out of it so that the backstab, okay? Knives have backstab, so that backstab can do... Like I said, getting knives to 50 will, will up the minimum number. Let's say a knife does minimum 5 damage. Now, you know, if you get it to 50, the knife is going to do minimum 10 damage, Plus the times 10 backstabbing is already 100. Okay? So that makes a major difference. If the knife is on 5, it's only going to do 50. If the knife is on 10, minimum damage is going to, it's going to be doing 100 to 200 to 300 damage. Okay? Same with the spears, pickaxes, swords, not important. Pole arms, not important. Clubs for me is extremely important because you're going to, get, you're going to go into skeleton crypts okay where uh where a club is very very good the swamp has blobs and the boss which is weak to clubs and then you know the the boss itself is a skeleton but i'm thinking the, the porcupine did not work against did not work against the final boss yagluth okay but it look here the Frost now only does 30 to 35, okay, because my skills were completely crap, okay, it did less, but I did up to 60 to 70 damage at some points because all the numbers work together, okay, but this thing did a lot more blunt damage than, than the Frost, no? but this thing, it grayed out, I wasn't doing any, any real damage to it, okay, it was terrible. So what we can know is that Frost or Spirit, if I'm looking at the damage I did to him, Frost did the most damage to him because his damage was fire, okay? People say arrows don't do damage to the last boss. BS, BS. Go take on the boss with Frost arrows, okay? I didn't have these Frost arrows on me that I have on me now, but go take on the boss with Frost arrows. And if you're talking about elemental damage, guys, I'm going to end off with this. The bow is doing 12 to 26, okay? So 12 is a fourth of the damage it can do, okay? Never mind that. The arrow, 6, is doing like a fifth of the damage it can do. Until you go... Now, this bow is doing the maximum amount of damage it can do. It's doing the maximum amount of poison damage it can do. And holy crap, the arrow is doing maximum amount, the maximum of the amount of damage it can do. And this arrow is also doing the maximum amount of damage it can do. So guys, to build onto the second video where I focused why you guys shouldn't die at all. This is why. I hope you enjoyed the skills guide. If you did, do me a favor and click the like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to see more in-depth videos, um, in the future I'll be doing um, custom maps, you know, where we can find maps that is that we can enjoy, you know, because the, the random sea that me and my son was on, guys, we were sailing for like in-game 10 days okay that's like three hours we were sailing for three hours to get to the island that has the boss on it okay now it was fun for me as a first experience but that really really got to my son um 
And you'll see in the review that he basically rage quit in the end. He was just not in the mood for it. Everything just took too much time. So we got a really, really bad seed, you know, but we dealt with it. But I'm going to show you guys some maps, you know, that we can share with one another. And I'll share a few maps with you, you know, which will be a much better and more fun experience. And so we're going to play around with that. And when I'm done with my one life challenge that I'm busy with now on a random seed, I will be looking at the best mods that doesn't break the game at all, doesn't make it easier, doesn't take away the realism, but does add very, very good qualities of life. So if you're interested in stuff like that, like I said, click the sub button and the bell button to be notified of future videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.